create a series of cross sections. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my ellipse tool. And then I'm going to draw a circle um, by clicking and dragging. And if you hold shift while you draw it, it will give you perfect dimensions. If you don't hold shift, then you get this happening. So I'm going to hold shift because I want it to be a perfect circle. So once I have that drawn, um, I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. You could double click on this fill color over here on this side and choose the specific color you want but I, most of the time I used to use my swatches so I'm just going to open up my swatches and I'm going to use uh, orange. Um, if you can't find your swatches if you look under window so scroll down it's in alphabetical order you can find your swatches that way. Okay so I'm going to put orange in there um, but I don't want to have this outline so right now I have a black outline around this so I don't want to have a black outline so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the stroke color and then I'm going to remove that. So down here below that, uh, you should have the option where you can have no color. You can also do that from your swatches as well. So I'm going to bring this fill back up to the front. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a series of descending circles that I'm going to then change the color for. So first thing I'm going to do is have my selection tool, have this shape selected. I'm going to copy it by hitting Control C and I'm going to hit Control F to paste it directly on top because if you hit Control V it'll put it somewhere else on your screen and I don't want it to be somewhere else on the screen I want it to be directly on top so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale down the size of this you can either go to Object, Transform and Scale or you could right click Transform and Scale either way it'll get you to the same place so we're going to scale this down 90% if your preview button is selected, you can see what's happening uh, before you hit OK. And then when, once it's scaled down, we'll go ahead and hit OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of this to kind of a yellowish white color. So this will be kind of the white part of the inside of an orange. So now I'm going to take this new shape that I have here and I'm going to copy it by hitting Control C and then I'm going to hit Control F to paste it directly on top. And then we're going to scale it down just like we did before. So you can either go to Object, Transform and Scale, or you can right-click, Transform and Scale. Either way, it will get you to the same place. So we're going to scale this down 90% again. We'll go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to make this uh, a lighter shade of orange, so something different from what I have to the outside. Okay, so now I have the base of my orange. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Line Segment tool over here and I'm going to draw a line across this right from the top. So first I'm going to zoom in. So you can zoom in by holding Control plus or you can hit Control minus um, to zoom out. So I'll zoom in by hitting Control plus and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from this anchor point right through the center and if you hold shift while you draw it the line will stay straight. If you don't hold shift then it goes all over the place but I'm going to hold shift so it goes right through the center so after you draw that line there probably won't be any color in there so you can see with these two boxes over here with a red line through them that means that there's no color there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my eyedropper tool and I'm going to select this color that I use for the outside edge of the orange and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap that color with the fill so if you click on this little arrow here in the corner it'll switch the fill with the stroke. So with the line segment tool you only have color in the stroke, you won't have color in the fill. Okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my selection tool. I'll have this selected still and then what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the top where it says effect. We're going to go to distort and transform and we're going to hit transform. So it's going to pull up this window and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make five copies of this and if you have your preview button select down here at the bottom then you can see what's going on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate these five copies that we're going to make. So if you click on this little box here where it says zero degrees and then if you push down on your keyboard on the, the downward arrow on your keyboard you can space those things out to how you want them. Okay so I want this to look like orange segment so I'll just space it till I think it looks good. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And now, let me zoom out here. Uh, this will look like a slice of an orange. 
Now what I can do is I can take my selection tool over here, um, drag a box to select everything, and I can just copy that whole thing by hitting Control C, and maybe this time I'll just hit Control V, um, paste it someplace else. Okay, now what I can do is I can take this orange and just change a couple of colors and then it will become a completely different fruit. So now instead of being an orange, it's a lime. So if I hit Control V again, I can take the same orange that I have and just change a couple of colors. So grab, the, select this outside ring, change that to yellow, select this inside ring, change it to maybe a lighter shade of yellow. And now I have a lemon. Okay, so I made three different things just from that first initial circle, first initial cross section. Okay, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, we'll just copy this. Well, it's already copied. All we have to do is paste it. So I'm just going to hit paste, control V. Okay, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this orange and I'm going to turn it into a watermelon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, delete this line that I made in the middle so if you just hit backspace or delete on your keyboard that will get rid of that and I'm just going to change a couple of colors here so I'm going to change the outside edge to green and I'm going to change the inside to a reddish pink color so it looks a little more like a watermelon uh, maybe I'll just leave that color the same because there's always kind of a white line around the edge of the watermelon. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some seeds to go inside the watermelon. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my uh, ellipse tool again. I'm going to draw a little tiny oval. So as you're drawing this, keep in mind how big your watermelon actually is. So after I draw that little oval, I'm going to take my direct selection tool. And I'm going to click on this bottom anchor point. So it just has this bottom anchor point selected. Once I have that select them come up here to the top where it says convert and we're going to use the option to convert selected anchor point to corner so that's going to create a sharper edge on that okay so after i've converted that i'm going to go back to my selection tool and then i'm going to change the color to black so it looks like a watermelon seed now what we're going to do is we're going to do something very similar to what we did up here with the orange segments so while this shape is still selected we're going to go under Effect, we're going to go Distort and Transform, and then we're going to choose Transform. And this time I'm going to make, oh, I don't know, let's see, 15, 15 copies. And then first, after that, I'm going to come up here where it says Move, and I'm just going to push this over, um, click on this little box, and if you push up on your arrows on your keyboard, that will space them out however spaced you want them to be, okay? So we'll go with that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this to make a ring. So if come back over here where it says rotate. Let's push down on the arrows on my keyboard to create uh, the ring that I want. And once I've got what I want, I'll go ahead and click OK. And now um, I've altered the shape. And it only recognizes this first uh, seed that we drew. So you see when you click on it, it only selects this first one. So we want to recognize all the shapes. So in order to do that, what we need to do is expand the appearance. So to expand the appearance, we're going to go up to the top where it says Object, and then we're going to choose the option to expand the appearance. So once you do that, you'll notice that it selects all of the seeds instead of just the one. And then once you've expanded the appearance, you can then adjust the size of those seeds. Okay. And I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger so it fits inside uh, my watermelon a little bit better. Okay, so now we've got four cross sections. So what I can do is uh, maybe I'll grab this orange again. I'm going to copy that by hitting Control C, then I'll hit Control V. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this orange and I'm going to turn it into a cantaloupe. So first thing I'll do with my selection tool is get rid of that part in the center, let's hit backspace on your keyboard. I'm going to change the outside edge maybe to this color that I use for the rind. I'm going to take the second color and I'm going to make it green. I'm going to leave that inside color orange. 
And now I'm going to make one more circle from these circles. So I'm going to select this circle that I have here in the center. I'm going to hit Control C to copy, Control F to paste it on top. And then I'm going to scale it down. So if you right click, you go to Transform, Scale. And I'm going to scale this down 45%. I'll click OK. And then I'm going to change that to a darker shade of orange. All right, so this is going to be the center of the cantaloupe. So now in the center, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some seeds uh, similar to what I did with the watermelon just a moment ago, but I'm going to make them a little bit of a different size, a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner. Okay, so I'm going to make them uh, the color of my rind. So if I take this little eyedropper tool, I can suck out that color. Take my direct selection tool, click on the bottom anchor point, convert that to a corner just like we did previously. I'll switch back to my selection tool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a ring of seeds. So I'm going to drag it out here so it's a little easier to see since this is such a pale color. Okay. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back under Effect. We're going to go to Distort and Transform. And then we're going to choose the Transform option. And essentially we're going to do the same exact thing that we just did. So I'm going to make, oh, I'll say 20, 20 copies. So I'll just scale this over, click on this little box, push down, create uh, the spacing there, and then I'm going to rotate it and push down on my arrow, or maybe up, make a little ring of seeds, and then once I have that ring, I'll go ahead and click OK. Okay, so now I've warped this shape, I've changed it, I need to now expand the appearance. So to expand the appearance, we go back under Object, we expand the appearance, and there we have our seed ring. So I'm just go ahead and drag this over boop, and stick it inside there. So I want it to fit inside that circle so it's still a little too big. So I'm going to scale it down and while I scale it down I'm going to hold shift so it doesn't warp the dimensions but I'm going to make it small enough that it will fit inside that ring there. Okay now what I can do is I can just copy this uh, cantaloupe by hitting control C, control V, and I'm just going to change a couple of colors to turn this into a honeydew. So I'll make this shade of green, and I'll make this center one a darker shade, and there we've got a honeydew. Uh, you know, I could do the same thing here with the watermelon if I just copy that control C, control V to paste. Um, just change the inside, make it uh, a yellow watermelon. So I've got all these different cross sections just from one original piece. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an onion. So I'm going to take my ellipse tool and I'm going to draw a circle. And when I draw that circle, I'm going to hold shift so as to not distort the shape and then what we're going to do is we're going to go under effect again we're going to go distort and transform and transform and this time what we're going to do is we'll make I don't know 12 copies and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to scale it down so I'm going to scale this here on the horizontal at 85 uh, percent and then I'm going to scale down the vertical to 85 percent as well so it will probably look like it didn't do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my selection tool, make sure it's still selected. And what we're going to do is we're going to expand the appearance of those shapes so it recognizes all of the circles that we made. So you'll see at that point um, all the, the rings that we made. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our Pathfinder tool. So if you can't find the Pathfinder tool, just look under Window here at the top. It's in alphabetical order and then it'll pull up your Pathfinder window. Then what we're going to do is we're going to divide that shape so it cuts through all those rings. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this to make it look like a purple onion. So for the fill, uh, I'm going to use a really kind of light pale purple color. And then I'm going to add a stroke around it. So I'll click on, double click on my stroke and I'm going to use kind of a darker purple. So it creates some rings there. And I'm also maybe increase the stroke size. So you can increase the stroke size here at the top where it says stroke. Okay. Um, you can choose specifically what size you want. Or if you just push on these arrows, you can make them bigger or smaller. Okay. 
Now if I wanted to, I could copy this and make it a yellow onion. So if I select it, hit Control C, Control V to paste it. Um, and just change a few colors here. Let's make that white. And we'll make this one yellow. So if you double click on those, then you can change that color. Okay. All right, so now I've got nine different cross sections here. Okay, so we'll call that good for the cross sections. Um, but what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to add a background color to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my layers, maybe lock this layer, and I'm going to add a new layer. And then that new layer, I'm going to grab my rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw a box that covers up the whole artboard. And then I can choose specifically what color I want that to be with my fill there. And then if I have my layers open up, um, I can grab this layer, click, hold, drag it, and drop this underneath layer one. So then that color is going to sit behind these shapes. And then I'm left with all the cross-section pieces.